Alrighty, this is uh, April the 23rd, 2016, and uh, KYQRP has a uh, field event here in uh, Frankfurt, which is a, uh, and this is a city park called uh, Fort Hill, which goes back to the Civil War days. And there's Pete, the D4 GPO, <laughs> waiting, waiting for somebody to bring him a smash burger. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we'll start with uh, start over here with the uh, Popeye's yeah Popeyes chicken. This is uh, Pete K2 UPD. He's operating out of his car. He's got a is that a 703 or a 706? 706. 706. Okay. <laughs> and you're using this vertical over here. Uh, right now, I just put it on the vertical. Okay. Okay. And 40 meter CW. Okay. So Pete's operating 40 meter CW. And if I can keep from tripping over coax here, he is using this vertical, which sits on a tripod, and uh, you may be able to see the, the radials coming off of there. And uh, he's had pretty good luck with this antenna. We were. Uh, we were promised sunny skies today, but we don't have them yet. So, uh, going to go back over here towards the shelter. And uh, we've got uh, AG4EP is uh, set up right here. Actually, what we got is uh, we got uh, John. KM4CH in the striped shirt. We got David KG4JDY and we got Mike AG4EP. Hey. Okay, and now what are you? South uh, Dakota? Uh, yeah. South yeah, Dakota on 20? That'd yeah. probably be the best DX of the day. Yeah, I was operating <laughs> 4 watts and he was operating 5 watts. Oh, okay. Well, if you're taking a break, I'll get on in a minute, but I want to shoot some videotape. So, Mike, you're using an 817, is that right? Uh, yeah, I switched from a small winter's lab to an 817. I'm getting ready to test out a just a quick throw together a dipole okay. uh, with that um, aluminum wire and a center conductor. So I'm going to put that on the air on 40. Okay. See if we can get any of those Ohio stations. Yeah, Ohio is having an NVIS uh, near vertical incident skywave test today. So they ought to be covering y'all up. We'll go over here and look at uh, David's setup while we're in the while we're in the neighborhood here and come back over to the shelter. So we got a uh, nice little rig there. There's the, uh, here's his battery supply. And uh, it's what he's using as a, as a tuner. And that's, uh, he's operating on 20, so Nice little, nice little radio there for 20 CW. I think that runs uh, four watts, what he said. And then there's uh, three of us set up over here in the shelter. If I can get over here without uh, tripping on something. I'm gonna be uh, operating my uh, Yezu FT897 on uh, 20 meter CW here in just a minute. This is uh, a couple of batteries that I have lashed together. I'm using my standard thing. Uh, that tripod goes to a fiberglass mast, and then there's a, uh, it's a 20 meter dipole, really more like an inverted V. And then over here we have Roger, KJ4YSY. He is on 40 meter phone. Looks like the, the uh, mid cars frequency with an FT817. So that's uh, that's Roger. And then over here, Glenn has wandered off, but this is AK4HA's setup, which is also an FT817, but he does have a, an amplifier with it. And you see the LDG Z100. Uh, automatic antenna tuner and uh, there's computer and stuff like that that looks like his uh, batteries so um, 
Anyway, so KYQRP out in the field. It was supposed to be sunny and 75, but uh, we're not quite there yet. But we're still having a still having a good time.